introverts unite, but by yourself somewhere over there, not near me. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. I am Alexis Hope. If you are new, if you are returning, hey, lovely. So this video is me being 110% transparent. 110. I'm an introvert. I'm hoping to help somebody else who is also an introvert, who is looking to start their YouTube, who is wondering how can I start a YouTube as an introvert? What can I do on YouTube as an introvert? Um, what are some channels uh, with people who are introverts on YouTube? So I'm hoping I can help as many people as possible and I'm hoping to inspire you and I'm hoping to kind of you know take away some of that fear because it is scary you're venturing into the land of the unknown it's terrifying but i'm hoping to help you out a little bit when it comes to some of those fears so i've always been pretty quiet i've always been to myself i'm not really a loud person but i had the audacity to go into real estate mind you i loved the idea of making the money and selling the homes i love that idea so much between the events parades kissing babies making friends your girl came home every night drained mind you i had not had a sale i was drained i was frustrated and i'm like what in the world is wrong with me what is wrong with me this literally forced me to be something that I was not. And it took me two years to figure that out. I was an introvert. Interactions where I constantly have to be around people, where I constantly have to talk, where people are constantly talking to me. That drains me. It makes me exhausted. It made me honestly doubt myself. I've always been the type of person who rather be by themselves than with a group of people and now mind you growing up you know you go to school you try to be social you want to go to parties you want to do these things I so badly wanted to do this but at the same time I didn't feel right being around the crowd of people made me anxious I just I it just it took me a long time to figure out that that was not for me and that as an adult I'm an introvert but that doesn't mean something is wrong. It just means that I interact differently. So fast forward to 2021. Now, mind you, I've always been a little creative, just a little tad bit creative on, on the, um, you know, drawing side and just my ideas because I am with my thoughts so much. I was sitting here. I was like, you know what? I'm taking this weight loss drug with Govi just for fun I'm gonna do a video and mind you I had tried to do videos for real estate you know just giving information on the home buying process and things like that but that uh, girl I don't want to talk about that I don't want to talk about that but I had this one Govi drug that was brand new that I had never taken before I didn't know anybody who had taken it my doctor said he didn't know anybody who had taken it but he was like hey if you want to give it a shot I'm down. I'm like, sure. Why not? I documented my progress with this video. I literally filmed it on my laptop. I edited it on the laptop. I also, I believe I had some shots from my phone as well of me putting the needle and stuff in. And I put it together. I uploaded it and I hid. Like I I hid. That was it. I, I put the video up and that was it. I did something different. I did something that was scary. I uploaded a video and I exposed myself to millions of uh, potentially billions of people, you know, people who come in and possibly can take this drug and want to see what other people have gone through. I exposed myself to all these people and it was scary. It was nerve wracking. It was, it was a lot. The comments came in, the likes came in, the views came in. I had no idea how many views that video had until about a year later. 
and I was getting notifications to my emails that I was getting comments. So I knew comments. I saw those comments. A lot of those comments were was, was very harsh. A lot of them told my fat ass I needed to go work out. But I digress. Those were just words on a screen. You know, that's basically what they were. So fast forward a year later, I'm watching a popular vlogger. I watched maybe about three or four of her vlogs, came to like or subscribe. In one of her vlogs, she was mentioning how hard content creation is, how hard vlogging is. I'm thinking, honey, hold my beer. It was something in me that was always there. I always wanted to create. I always wanted to be on YouTube. It was like a burning passion just sitting there like how, like that. That was a challenge to me. Like, that's hard. Maybe I could do this. So, I decided I was going to start vlogging. And mind you, I had no idea. The work that it took to put in for YouTube, none of that. I had zero idea. So I started vlogging. Not very good, by the way. Not very good at all. I started vlogging on a Galaxy S7. That was like two years ago. I just happened to have an S7. And I also used my phone as well, which was an S9. But um, I had just happened to have a separate phone. I started vlogging. I had no idea what I was doing. I had no idea how to edit. I had to figure out how to get the footage from the phone to the computer because I didn't want to edit on the phone. And it was so much. But you know what? I found something that I loved. I found something that allowed me to be creative. And guess what? I ain't had to talk to nobody. I could get in my room. I could sit down in front of my computer. I could be mentally just... And editing is tough. But I could mentally be just myself and I can sit here and be creative I can put things together I can add music I can add text I can be as funny as I wanted to be on on camera I was vlogging without really much success which is to be expected the followers that I did have came from a weight loss video so to see me vlog every single day that's not really what they were there for, so I kind of understood that. So, I didn't get much traction, but I decided to post a video saying how I passed CompTIA Security Plus exam and got my certification. So, if you guys have seen that video, that video has a lot of views. I posted it. I was more aware of what the how things would go you know I would post it I didn't expect to get that many likes because I posted it and I made the video for a group on Facebook so I just expected them to watch it because I posted that I passed everybody was like how I just happened to make a video fast forward that video now has almost 12,000 views the comments rolled in the likes rolled in the comments were saying, oh my God, I love her personality. She's so funny. She's, I'm like, who, me? Baby, don't gas me up. Okay. I, I had no idea that my informational videos were for one, so helpful. But for two, y'all really like me? Y'all really, really, really like me? As an introvert who sticks to themselves and don't really mingle with other people, sometimes you're not sure how people receive you, especially when you're socially awkward like me. So to see that, it was like, don't gas me. Don't hype me up. I had literally found my tribe, which was awesome. Awesome. That made me realize this is for me. All I needed to do was have structure, learn my craft, and boom, this is really fun. This is an amazing thing. I just keep thinking to myself, and even now from that video, I still get people who hit me up and they're like, so how are you doing now? What are you doing now? I literally still get people who hit me up because of that video who are interested in me and what I'm doing and how I'm doing and where I am in life.
which I should make a life update video as far as that. But there are people who are seriously interested. And I appreciate that so much. That made me realize I do have a great personality. I just need to show it. I it, It's okay to sometimes come out of my bubble, come out of my head. And I did not have to talk to a single soul. I said it to the camera like I am now. I'm saying it to the camera. That is it. I don't even know if anybody's ever going to watch this video. Because I don't know. I'm just talking to the camera. That's all I did and that's how I think of it. Now don't get me wrong. There are days where I don't even want to get out of bed. Let alone film. Okay. thing about social media is that it pushes you to think out of the box. And it also forces you to get out your comfort zone. I love that. I'm doing stuff that I never in a million years thought I would be doing. I'm literally going to go move so that I can further my career in social media. Like I plan on moving. I could further my career in tech as well, but maybe they go hand in hand. So to start, you don't need anything fancy. Like I said before, I used my phone. I used a Galaxy S7. Okay, I just used my phone and the quality on it was pretty good compared to what I'm using now, which is my Sony um, ZV-1F. It's, it's completely different, but back then, for me starting out, man, some of these big channels, all they're using are, are, are phones. That's it. They got millions and millions of subscribers and they're just using their phone. You don't need any fancy equipment. You don't need no tripods i have tripods but right now you guys are sitting on a jewelry box okay you're sitting on a jewelry box you don't need anything fancy you just need to get out here and start you just need to do it you need to i hate to say i i, I hate to say it but you need to break out your shell a little bit turtle you need to break out your shell our lives as introverts come with a whole bunch of challenges and because I don't want you to have too many challenges when it comes to starting YouTube, I'm going to give you some tips. Tip number one, start small. Just small. Just sit in front of your phone with your camera running. Just sit there. Just sit there. Just record yourself working. If you're typing on the computer and that's B-roll, that's a whole different that's a whole different story. Keep hold on to that. That is B-roll. That's a real that you can add text to that. But baby, we ain't got time for all that. I just want you to sit in front of your phone or your camera. Just just sit there. Just sit there. Don't say anything. Just sit there. Get comfortable. Just get comfortable with being in front of the camera. Because honestly. Nobody is there, technically. It's just you. It's just you and the camera. I'm sitting in a room by myself right now. It's just me and the camera. Believe it or not, believe it or not, I'm not a talker. But I like to talk to myself. We all do that. Tip number two is talk about what you know. What are you passionate about? What can you ramble on for days about? For me, Honestly, I can ramble on for days about anything Marvel, anything anime. You don't see that on my channel. Oh, I know I need to get better at expressing myself, but your girl is still learning. But anything anime, Marvel, I can ramble. Oh, baby, I can put all the movies and Marvel in order. I can tell you what is what is what is what, who did what, who died when. I can tell you the villains. I can ramble, okay? You need to find something you're passionate about, what you can talk about for days, what you know. You need to sit down in front of the camera and you need to talk about it. No matter what, be yourself. I have seen a lot of YouTubers who are pretty cookie cutter. I'm talking about their house is, you know, beige and white and they're just cookie cutter. I mean, it's just, it's sickening, okay? I know sometimes people are a little awkward. I'm a little awkward myself, but every pot has a lid. Make a script. Number four is make a script. This cuts down on editing. This cuts down on you having to spend time sitting there trying to figure out what to say, how you're going to say it, 
Just make a script or at least write down bullet points. Five is have a content calendar. Trust me, I know we're all busy. I work a 9-to-5 and I have a business as well, so this content calendar comes in handy. Now, my content calendar is on my phone and it is also on my tablet. I am able to bring it up every single day. I have every single platform that I'm on. It tells me what I need to do on that platform every single day. And it, needs, it tells me what I need to have it by. Just a content calendar keeps you straight. And then pretty soon, because this happens every single day it happens weekly it happens monthly pretty soon you won't even need the calendar because you'll know already what you need to do you're creating a habit this routine waking up in the morning you know you need to post this this and this you know you need to post stories do it if you're just focusing on youtube make a strategy to where you post maybe three shorts a week and then one long form have a strategy. It becomes a habit. Then you know. And then you can see results from it because you're sticking to it. So number six is batch create. Have you ever watched a video where you see somebody, they're wearing something, and then you go to the next video and they're wearing the same thing? Chances are they batch create it. Makes life so much easier. So for instance, today I'm off. I'm making this video. If I had other videos other sit down videos to do I would make those videos batch create batch creating can just make a world of difference you can batch create you can sit down you can edit because you have a script you knew what you said it makes your life so much easier and trust me trust me trust me trust me you don't want this to be any harder than it has to be so what keeps me motivated is the fact that I have harsh comments, but I have 50 more good comments. People who want to see me win. People who comment on my post. People who actually reach out and they're like, well, how are you doing with it? That is what motivates me. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. Find your tribe. Find your community. And that's what this is all about, is building a community. I don't want people who are just subscribed to me. I want people who want to see me do well because I want to see you do well as, as well you know I have some subscribers who always reach out and I'm like you know how are you doing I haven't heard from you in a while how is how was this how was that how was work you know what I mean so we like Olive Garden we have family over here so I just want to say that is what keeps me going that is what keeps me motivated the fact that I love this I really have found something that I love and mind you, I have job hopped all my life because I could just never figure out what I wanted to be when I grow up. This is it. I love this. I love social media. But if you're afraid, how do you know you don't like it? How do you know this is not your passion? You have to dive in. But if you're an introvert as well, I want you to leave some tips below because I know I didn't hit everything. And this was just mainly my story, me giving you some inspiration, me giving you some encouragement as far as, you know, how to start a YouTube channel as an introvert. And I, I want those of you who are introverts with channels, I want you guys to let the rest of us know what what's your motivation? What is your why? What keeps you going? What are your tips? And if you are thinking of starting a channel but you have not pulled that trigger yet that's cool comment down below any questions you have I'll try my best to answer them but trust me just start small just start that's all you can do so you guys thank you so much I want to thank everybody who has ever made a comment even them harsh ones even the mean ones I want to thank everybody who's ever liked a video everybody who has ever reached out to me on LinkedIn Instagram whether or not I'm terrible at responding but I want to thank everybody who has ever rocked with me who has ever watched a live who has ever liked my Facebook page Instagram TikTok. I appreciate y'all y'all the real MVPs now once again I will see you in the next video I hope I've been able to help